We all can see objects in our world moving, but how do we quantify their motion? When we study the motion of objects traveling along a straight line, or what's known as one-dimensional kinematics, the motion of an object can be described with three qualities of the object itself, its position, its velocity, and its acceleration. The position of an object, usually written as the letter X, tells us where the object is located. To define position, we generally need to choose an origin point and a coordinate axis. In one-dimensional motion, think of it kind of like a number line. You can choose anywhere in the world to be position 0, and from there, the position of each object in the world is based off that origin point. But objects don't stay still, they move, making their positions change, and we can measure the change in position either through displacement or distance, both of which can be symbolized by the symbol delta x, or the final position minus the initial position. So the difference between these two is that displacement is what's known as a vector, meaning it has a magnitude and a direction attached to it, while distance is a scalar, meaning it only conveys a magnitude. In essence, displacement measures where you end up relative to where you started, whereas distance measures only how far in total that you've traveled. To show the difference between distance and displacement, let's imagine that I, Jason, am running around a 400 meter track with my dog Patch watching. After completing a full 400 meter lap, the distance I ran would be 400 meters, or the total length of the track that I ran around. However, because my displacement measures how far I end up from where I start, and I start and end at the same place on this track, my displacement for the entire race would actually be 0 meters. The change in position over a period of time, or displacement divided by change in time, is what's known as velocity, or v. Now, like displacement, velocity is also a vector quantity, meaning it describes how fast you're going and where you're going as well. On the other hand, the scalar version of velocity, called speed, is defined as the distance traveled over time, and it doesn't describe what direction you're going, only how fast. To explain this, let's take a look at the track example again. If I ran the entire 400 meter lap in 40 seconds, my speed would be the distance divided by time, or 10 meters per second. However, my velocity is the displacement over time, and since we said that the displacement was 0 meters, my velocity for the 400 meter lap around the track would actually be 0 meters per second. In general, when it comes to velocity, there are two main types of motion that you're going to encounter. The first is called constant velocity motion, and it's when the velocity of an object is uniform and not changing. To find the displacement of objects undergoing constant velocity motion, we can rearrange our velocity definition to get the equation delta x equals v times delta t, or displacement is equal to the velocity times the change in time. Now, you may recognize this formula from your math class, as it's very similar to the d equals rt or dirt equation. However, the difference is that physics, unlike math, will actually be useful in your day-to-day -day life. The second type of motion you're going to see is when the velocity is changing, and for this type of motion we need to take a look at another vector quantity, acceleration. Acceleration, written as the letter A, is defined as the change in velocity divided by the change in time, and it describes how fast you're either speeding up or slowing down. For uniform acceleration, the equations to describe an object's motion are a bit more complicated, and there's actually four fundamental formulas called the kinematic equations that can be used to express the motion of just about any uniformly accelerating object, but those will be the topic for a future video. For now, you can feel good that you've just learned the basics of one-dimensional motion and about position, velocity, and acceleration.